who doesn't know about fractures? Fractures are something which affect almost every geographically located place. Fracture means break in bones. Now these fractures can be of two types. First is high velocity trauma. That means road traffic accidents in which there is bony fracture and there are associated multi-system injuries which can be there. And there is something called low velocity trauma which means there is a domestic fall and bones have fractured which happens mostly in osteoporotic bones. Now these fractures have to be treated and it's very important otherwise it can be a life-threatening problem. The treatment of fractures involve two phases. First is splinting, second is definitive treatment. Splinting means immobilization of fracture. For example, if there is a, a long bone fracture like femur, tibia or a forearm or arm fracture, we have to immediately immobilize the associated part by means of splints. This immobilization will reduce the pain and bring about a loss of uh, less of blood loss. This immobilization can be done with splints or with a plaster. Once a patient or the person is found to be stable, we do the definitive treatment that is surgery. Some fractures can be treated with conservatively by means of plasters which is known as closed reduction and plaster. These closed reductions are normally done in uh, anesthesia or analgesia after which a plaster is applied. But many fractures there need to be surgery, especially intra-articular fractures. Intra-articular fractures means fractures which are involving the joint. Once a fracture is involving the joint, it's very important to get a very good anatomical reduction of the fracture and most of these are done in an open manner and they are fixed with plates or screws. This is known as open reduction internal fixation. Long bone fractures like femur, tibia or humerus can be treated in a closed way which is known as closed reduction and internal fixation. The word closed reduction means we are not opening the fracture site. We see the reduction of fracture sites through a fluoroscopy machine and then we fix with something known as interlocking nail. Other than that, there is low velocity trauma, for example, fracture neck femur. Now this fracture neck femur, if it happens in elderly, instead of fixing, we normally replace it. This is known as hemiarthroplasty or total hip replacement. This is a cemented prosthetic replacement by means of which a person stands up and starts walking from the very next day of surgery. 